Oh, I should probably have Abe do this. Abe. So now I can actively switch between the two. A majority of this will be still Abe, but that's not a biggie. Seems like they increased the speed of the spooshy gathering. What if I grab this last one if it triggers? No, usually it triggers a like a little message. And that's where the camera angles that I was talking about way earlier, like episode one, get a little irritating because they like to hyper focus on stuff that doesn't matter. Oh, oh shoot. Uh, okay. So this is sort of where a lot of the cheese tactics come from. You can really easily cheat out freaking AI in this game, especially when it comes to combat. So I can just... <clears throat> yeah. But, still awesome. Oh no, I cannot cross water as I must take a lunch, and that is the entirety of this game. Uh, although, done probably a lot better than I'd make it seem. Yeah, we got the uh, the outdoorsy wooded brew for the hipsters in the audience. All zero of you, I think. Oh, a mine. Okay, I thought a mine saved his ass. Nobody calls me a poo brain. What are you gonna do now, Electro Sock victim? So. Usually, you're, I think you need to get Abe over here first. Oh, but I gotta, I gotta use the uh, the handy, capable accessories to make my lab go even faster, to go at speeds beyond that of a gray guy. I for, I forgot what his race was, honestly. Have you seen this gabbit? And before you ask, yes, I can be that stupid. Have you seen me? Wow, that wasn't even on purpose. I am a god. Well, there is potentially one way I could get Abe over with early without having to do this, but let's just use the safety strats, shall we? There it is. Now we go back to that lad. I do really like the sling banter in this game because it's practically nonsense if you hear it just off the wall, but it often actually has dialogue. It's just kind of nice because it's just like, yeah, we're just dudes hanging out a lot of the time, but I can. You take him over, you can. I can send some shade each other's way. Go! Leave! There it is. It's always makes me nervous because it's very easy for puzzles to die during that, and it's the only way to open a door. <laughs> Oh my god, that's great. Oh, he just fucking laughs at you. <laughs> Fast and the Furious, let's go. Oh! Oh no, 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 no. Okay. Dude, just fucking fight. This is not the time. Oh, we got all the boys. And my lad. I was told to say boys and lads less, but in this case, I think it's it's fitting. Uh, you know, I'm gonna turn them all in once I get the last four here. Okay. Well, oh, we gotta wait a whole cycle because he just went over. Look at him. Green and stupid, with his prosthetic legs. You're not the only one handicapped out here in the forest. You better not kill that first one, or I'll be livid. 
Oh, look at these beasts. Look at these men among men. Alright, let's turn these boys in. I don't think this is all of them. I mean, I could easily check, but where's the fun in that? Might as well wait till the end for the mystery. Or, you know what, I'll check now, because I'm, I'm nervous. Eleven. Did one of them die? Oh, better not have been Tony. Tony was always a trooper. Oh, uh, they call him Little Tony Meatball Pants. Alright. Tony will- Tony's death will not be in vain. 100% cancelled. Might want to include that in the first episode. Or whenever I mention doing 100%, because that is not gonna happen. Or, oh. That's what the camera angle messes up some of those cutscenes. I'm gonna find out at the end of this that that guy's still alive. When I check the board at the end. And then everything's gonna be a little bit happier, but I'm gonna be like, wait, where the fuck is he? Uh, I'm gonna kill these guys before we get over there. Like, this is, like... For a game that has, like, some light strategy, I feel like most of the strategy comes in killing before you get there. Because they just do not give a shit. I'd be terrified if I just saw this happen to the dude I was talking to. But these men... I, you know what? It's probably just kind of their condition, like, yeah, Tony blew up. It happens. There's a little, there's a little speed run tech for you, you guys out in the field. And then I mess up the next toss. Speed run tech. Okay, uh, we're gonna get this one more shot before panic ensues. Alright, 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 shoot! Uh, oh! Kobe! Okay. Alright, this is just to make Munch more accessible for Abe when the time comes. We're gonna take these green goblins. We're gonna kick some ass by doing this. Look at these mechanics. I'm about to start an internal war. Yeah, I really shouldn't have been playing this as a kid. Round one, fight! I'm gonna lose this duel because he swung first. Unless I can do this. No, they just target me. But look at this. We are already three on three now. Technically four on three. Round two. Fight. Oh! Mess him up! Don't let her lad die. Come on. Yeah! Ah. Uh, well. What'd I say? No revivals. Unless actually necessary. If you die, you die. That one guy at the beginning that I revived earlier that you kind of probably didn't pay attention to? He was never dead to begin with. Yeah, one of the puzzles was just killed. Alright. I'm gonna show you some of these, uh, some of this long-term knowledge I have on this game. Uh, some of y'all might not be familiar if you've ever actually played this game somehow. Uh, others might, and probably definitely will be. Uh, say hi to the JPEG trees. But we got this man living out 
in his dream house. It's basically a manor. Out in the woods here. I don't know why I'm talking like I'm from Brooklyn all of a sudden. Oops. And there is the fault of this, the conversation system in this game. Hello, Munch. What are we here to do? Kick ass. What do we want to do? Kick ass. What are we going to achieve? Kick ass. Well, that's a lot more comfortable. I can just mash trigger instead of using thumbstick. I was so upset about this one, but I'll move on. Wait a minute. Oh my god, in all the cutscenes, he only has three fingers because of China uh, being a little upset about the, the man having a fucked up pinky because that's really insensitive. But they just didn't change the model. <laughs> Cutscene logic. Alright, so the rundown of this game is it's usually an outdoor level than an indoor level. Or on the outside, you have free Mudokins, and on the inside. You have enslaved ones instead of fuzzles. So there's one now. They're called scrubs, but they're more heroes than that. Okay, that's that's a little noxious. But this is what I was talking about with the slots a couple episodes back. You can just kind of. <laughs> Come on, I'm trying to catch him again. He's got a taste for blood. Come on, Sling. You know where you want to get in the, the gracious grasp of the... Oh, I got the opposite. Become one with your claw god. Oh, there he goes. But, now that he's dead, I've got eight. I can do this. <laughs> but we're going to do this instead. Wonderful camera angle. Get, get some nice foreground, background action. Okay, can you step away from the barrier? What if I do this? Okay. Drop! Whoa. That was weird. Wonder if I could get. Oh, hey. Yeah, I wonder if I could do, like. Something like this. Oh, that's gruesome. Why do they keep freezing like that? That's weird. Oh, no matter. Oh, and as for the 100% thing I was talking about before, yeah, I have to, I, it's kind of impossible for me to get the feedback that I want right now, because this is all one massive session, where I get a little bit of flow going, not like rapper flow, because I'm not cool enough for that, I mean, I'm just a dude playing video games, that's already pretty lame enough, but, you know, good enough, uh, cheeky I know. But, I think just getting the good ending in general is probably going to be fine. The, there's no difference in the 100% ending and the good ending, other than you feel better about yourself and you get a different end screen message. But, realistically, I don't need to try for that. 
So these slot cuts are pretty formulaic. You're kind of just going in and running as quick as possible in order to save your bros. And if you're good enough at the game, you don't need to do the extra stuff on some of these, but on others, you kind of are, you kind of have to. Uh, there are methods to make this way easier by just killing everyone, but let's be real, that's not as fun. Because then I'm here for like an hour, making sure everyone's dead so I can cross safely. And that's just not as risky as I, I would like it to be, and I think... You guys would probably get bored seeing me walk around and slay just about everyone that is super unnecessary when I can run past him. How are we doing on health? I can, I can make one or two more runs. Accidental cinematic angles. Let's go. Drink this one. Save myself the time. I will say it's a little bit weird with the redesign of these dudes, because when... In the original version, they were a lot more tan, and I think that might be a race there, but... Uh, they also wore overalls, so I don't know why they're just wearing, like, prison... Prison shorts now. Oh, 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 get dodged. Let's go. I don't actually know how many of these guys I need. I think you're supposed to clear out kind of just the ones that are here, and then the three extra dudes I got before are a little bit bonus, but... Okay, move away from the espresso. Or sorry, expresso. Okay, I'm just gonna slay Abe to save myself the worry of having a scrub die. So let's just go to the center ring. 